Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I booked in for a personal color consultation in Korea. So join me as I find my personal shades. Personal color analysis, also known as color consulting, is a popular service in South Korea for those who want to improve their overall appearance and feel more confident in their styling. It's a great way to figure out which colors enhance your natural features and complement your skin tone so you know exactly what colors to wear when it comes to clothing, makeup, hair and nails. This has been high on my bucket list for the longest time and after researching several options, I decided to book a session with Dust Moth Stography which came high highly recommended. During my session, I met with Ginny, the founder of Dustmoth, who has been an expert in color consulting for the last 13 years. The consultation was conducted in Korean, so I brought a friend along to help me translate. Before we began, I had to remove my foundation so that Ginny could analyze my skin tone. This is important because the whole basis of personal color analysis is determined by your natural skin tone. Ginny then scanned my skin with a color scanner which measures how light or dark my skin tone is and how much red and yellow it contains. Compared to most of Ginny's Korean clients, my skin tone was darker and contained more yellow which indicated a warmer undertone. She compared my results to a cooler undertone to help me see the difference. With the results in mind, Ginny moved on to explain the basics of personal color analysis. Everyone's skin tone is unique and influenced by various factors such as sun exposure, environment, lifestyle habits, and genetics. The personal color system takes into account these differences and categorizes skin tones into seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. However, at Dust Moth, these seasons are further divided into eight categories to provide a more comprehensive color analysis. By identifying the colors that complement each individual skin tone, the personal color analysis helps create a personalized styling guide. Here's a breakdown of the eight categories. Spring light, which is associated with warm light colors like corals, peaches, yellow, and greens. Spring bright are vibrant and vivid warm colors. Summer light colors are bright cool tone colors like pastel pinks, lavender and sky blues. Summer mutes are toned down cool tone colors that have a gray undertone like dusty rose and violet. Autumn mutes are deeper warm colors that give off a vintage feel. Think autumn leaves and foliage that have fallen from the trees. Autumn deep are warm tone colors like dark reds, rich browns, maroons, and deep khaki greens. Winter bright colors are vivid, intense colors that are clear and cool toned with a lot of contrast and saturation. These include primary colors like true red, cobalt blue, bright lemon yellow, as well as magenta and jewel tone colors. Winter dark colors are cool toned and have a high level of contrast and saturation, making them appear bold and striking. These colors include deep burgundy, midnight blue, blue, forest greens, and black. Now, since I have a warm undertone, I could fall under spring or autumn. So to determine which season, Ginny moved on to the next step, which is color draping. This is the part where she drapes different colored fabric swatches across my chest and shoulders to see which colors bring out my features best. But before that, I want to give a quick thanks to today's sponsor, Mason Detay, an aroma brand from Seoul, Korea. Their carefully crafted scents are changing the game in the world of fabric perfumes and room sprays. If you're wondering what fabric perfumes are used for, they're a great way to elevate your scent, the ambience of your home or workspace, and can be used to deodorize fabrics and textiles. Mason Detay offer eight curated scents that were inspired by memories of Paris and encapsulates a different mood, from fresh and invigorating to sophisticated and sensual. They also make diffusers that will help transform your space, adding a touch of luxury to your daily life. And here's the best part. Mason Detay is exclusively available on Coriel.com, my go-to website for the latest K-beauty products and trends. I love shopping on Coriel because they have over 70 beauty brands, including international ones and upcoming indie brands you can't find anywhere else. Now, I do have a special discount code you guys can use to get 20% off Coriel store-wide. Use Tina20. So this is a great chance for you to check out Mason Detay or stock up on any K-beauty products you need. As always, I'll leave the link for you guys below. Okay, now back to the video. Starting with the brightness test. This will determine what level of lightness or darkness suits me best. As she flips through the colors, you can see how it affects my face. So you can see how it affects my face. 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 You 
I suit darker colors more compared to the lighter shades. The perfect color for me is charcoal as it has the right amount of darkness to complement my skin tone. Black is not so bad, but she thinks charcoal brings out my features more. Then, still can use if you want. Ah, <laughs> if you want. 만약에 티나가 겨울이면 이게 훨씬 예쁠 거예요. 근데 가을이면 얘가 훨씬 예쁠 거거든요. 브라운이긴 한데 밀크 초콜릿 이런 느낌이 아니라 다크 카카오 90% 이런 느낌의 아주 다크한 초콜릿 컬러라고 보시면 돼요. 얘랑 이거랑 비교해 볼게요. 아, 퍼펙트. 너무 예쁘지 않아요? 진짜 잘 어울리고 너무 너무 예쁘거든요. 그리고 진짜 뭔가 되게 한번 이렇게 와 이런 느낌인데 이걸 보시다가 블랙을 딱 보잖아요. 그러면 not bad인데 이런 데가 그림자 많이 져 있어요. I would have never thought that dark brown looks better on me, but after seeing the comparison against black, I agree that brown brings out my features best. Jeannie says I definitely suit warm tones and to demonstrate that, she's going to compare a cool white with a beige. You can see beige creates more harmony against my skin tone. I'm going to show you three things. These gray. 얘는 주황색에 블랙. 이세 가지 톤을 볼 거예요. 파스텔 톤은 밋밋해요. 티나의 이목구비를 살려주지 않아요. 그리고 전체적으로 되게 티나가 엄청 체구도 작고 날씬하잖아요. 근데 상대적으로 이게 팽창돼 보여서 여기가 살이 쪄 보여요, 오히려. 회색이 들어간 게 예쁘다는 건 아닌데 이게 나한테는 파스텔인 거예요. 근데 이걸 보면 은 어우. 얼굴도 엄청 날씬해 보이고 어 진짜 이목구비가 약간 딱딱딱딱 진짜 컨투어한 느낌? 음. 그래서 확실히 블랙이 들어간 게 정말 예쁘고 어쨌든 검은색이 들어간 따뜻한 색깔 이런 게다 예쁜 느낌. Now we're gonna find the shade that suits me in each hue, starting with green. This is green with a grey undertone, green with yellow, dark warm green, and teal. Ginny thinks that the dark warm green suits me best. Let's compare to see the difference. The top one is good, but to make it even better, we can add black. Oh, nice. Perfect. 진짜 예쁘다. 너무 예쁘지 않아요? Now we'll compare purples. Purples are generally considered cool tones, so this vivid purple is a no for me. Come uh. <laughs> Pastel purple is too light. Purple with grey makes me look dull. Because I'm a warm tone, purples won't really look good on me. But if Ginny had to choose a purple for me, it would be this one. A dark purple like this eggplant colour. Moving on to blues. Oh boy. Oh my god. 되게 얼굴이 어두워 보여. 파란색 계열은 정말 안 맞고. Now for the reds. Vivid red is overpowering my features. This one makes me look cold. Cherry red is cool toned. This autumn red is okay, but the best one for me is red velvet with chocolate. It makes me look more sophisticated. 자, 이거랑 비교해 보면 차이 느껴지시지 않아요? 이게 너무 안정적이에요. 레드벨벳에서 초콜릿 되게 얹은 느낌? Let's try pink. As you can tell, we both knew instantly that these were not my colors. 조금 더톤 다운돼야 돼요. 이렇게 같은 핑크인데도 조금 더 차분해 보이는 핑크. I look better in muted pinks when there's grey added to it. Comparing these two shades, this warmer rosy pink suits me better. Cool muted pinks don't look so good on me, so I should opt for warmer pinks instead. Ah, oh, 이거는 얼굴이 약간 그 좀비 있잖아요. 그런 색처럼 약간 보라색 빛처럼 어, 약간 피부 죽은 느낌. Next, let's try pastel tones. All these lighter shades make my face look bloated and washed out. They make my face look bigger, but if I really wanted to make it work, she suggested I wear heavy makeup with more contouring or opt for a muted pastel with a grey undertone. For yellows, I should stay away from vivid, bright yellows. So far, Ginny thinks I'm most probably an autumn deep, which means that summer colours will not look good on me. So she's going to test it out. 보시면 되게 전체적으로 아파 보입니다. 저희가 이제 한국에서 얘기할 때는 병가룩이라고 해요. 병가룩으로 뭔가 되게 오늘 빨리 조퇴하고 싶어요 할때 이걸 추천드려요. 막 이렇게 얘기하는 진짜 아파 보이는 색깔이고. Summer lights are a big no-no for me. It makes my skin look darker and dull.
worst. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next, let's test out winter darks in winter brights. You can see here that the bright shades definitely don't look good on me. Ah, I look so bad. I look like an avatar. Avatar. The darker colors are so-so because they all have cool undertones. But I really like the color of the sky first. I really like the color of the sky first. Let's try the spring colors. I can kind of get away with the muted ones, but I should steer clear of the bright, vivid colors. 확실히 쨍한 거거나 파스텔 거나 안 봤습니다. Now let's try out my season, autumn. These are a mixture of autumn mutes and autumn deeps. All of these complement my skin tone, but Jinny's going to pick out the best shades for me. 이런 거 예뻐 지금. 이런 거잘 어울려. 그리고 요것도 예뻐. 약간 차콜에 카키 조금 들어간 느낌. Oh, 이런 것도 크게 나쁘지 않네요. 그리고 요것도 예쁩니다 지금. Are you guys ready to see my results? Let's start off with the worst colors. These shades of blues make me look sick and pale. Next up, we have the OK colors. These are the lighter shades that I could pull off, but I should amp up my makeup and contouring. And lastly, these are the best shades on me. Darky, earthy tones like deep reds, chocolate browns, and dark greens. They make my skin look brighter and complement my natural features the best. The results were eye-opening. I never knew that these colors suited me. I usually buy clothes just because I like the colors, but next time I go shopping, I'll definitely keep this color palette in mind. Okay, now that I know my personal colors, Ginny and I moved on to makeup. She handpicked products and shades that complemented my skin tone, and boy, was I relieved to find out that I've been using most of these shades already. My background in makeup definitely helped. This part of the consultation is really handy for those of you who are unsure of what makeup to buy, whether it's foundation, blushes, eyeshadows, or lipstick. On me, deeper brown red lipsticks suited me best, so Ginny suggested a couple formulas and brands that I could try out. Next, we compared various jewelry metals, including gold, bronze, 14K, rose gold, silver, and chrome. Based on my coloring, we determined that rose gold and 14K suited me best. Next up is hair color. For my skin tone, Ginny said that dark brown hair looks the best on me. Jet black hair would look like a wig, whilst bleach hair would wash me out. Ginny also recommended nail colors in the autumn deep range, which would make my hands look brighter. Then, to complete the personal color analysis, Ginny suggested scents that would match my overall color palette and vibe. She explained that a person's scent should match their clothing style and color choices. For me, as a deep autumn, she recommended a woody or musky fragrance that would pair well with my sophisticated and classy style. With that knowledge, I was able to easily pick out my scent from Maison Dete. I chose Cream Suede, which has a soft jasmine scent with a hint of vanilla and musk that complements my color palette and vibe. Overall, my experience with Dust Moth was fantastic. The consultation was really thorough and took about three hours. I learned so much about my personal color palette and what kind of makeup, jewelry, and hair color looks best on me. The whole thing cost me 300,000 won, about $230 US, but it was totally worth it. I feel much more confident now about my style, and I can't wait to try out Ginny's recommendations. If you guys are ever in Korea, would you try this service out? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you guys are new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!